So in the last tutorial, we actually looked at how to capture the desktop at 1280 by 720. So in this video, we're going to go into some basic edits, um, annotation, transitions, and those things. So the first thing that I want to note is that we do have on the right hand side a canvas. So if I right click in this area, I can actually go to adjust canvas. So if I accidentally recorded my video at a different size than the 1280 by 720, I can still drop in and change my canvas size to something else. So if I was to change my canvas size, let's say I wanted at 640 by 360, I can make that adjustment. Note that's the new canvas size and our video is bigger than that. I would click apply. I would have to then click on the video, right click and say scale to fit, and the video would then become a 640. Um, but we don't want to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust canvas back to the um, 1280 by 720, clicking apply, right clicking on the video, saying again scale to fit, and our video is back to the same size as our canvas. So let's just um, go through um, some of the features here. So in the bottom part we actually have our timeline and we have what's called a playhead. So right here we can click and drag on the playhead to move forward in the video so we can actually see the video as we're going along. We can also see the waveform um, that is the audio waveform. One of the things that I'll try to do when I'm creating videos is if I've made a mistake or um, I maybe have said something I want to rephrase, I will tend to pause. So you might see that there's a pause right here in the audio. I will pause for a period of time and then start again. This allows me to go back in and do quick edits. So I can go along and say, oh, that's right, my edit was right there. So I can come into that spot there, put the edit in um, and then cut out the piece that I don't want. Um, so that is the timeline um, at the bottom. And as we go along, we can actually see a play. So the second row here, um, we have the hide show assets. Um, so we can actually hide the assets on the left hand side. We have the record button. So we can reopen. We'll just go ahead and click on it. Reopen that record. Um, options or the record dialog box. I'm going to close that. We have just the basic player options, so to play, rewind, fast forward. Um, right now we're seeing everything at 62% of the canvas, so we could go up to 200%, drop down to 75, um, drop down to 50, those kind of things, and you can adjust that as needed. Um, to the right of that is the enable cropping of the canvas um, if we actually wanted to crop something. To the right of that is the hide show properties on the right hand side. So when I click on the video itself, I do get some properties. Um, this is where I could scale, um, change the position, um, those kind of things um, for the video. To the right of the video option is a little waveform up in the upper right. Um, this is where I can change maybe the overall audio wasn't loud enough, I can actually come in and bump up. You can see the waveform changing at the bottom. Um, I can actually change the audio for this. Um, so I'm going to just leave it as close to, um, there we go, 100%. And then um, over here we can look at the cursor properties. Um, we can scale the cursor. Um, we can also look at the opacity, which just is the transparency of the cursor, um, and make those adjustments um, underneath, again, the show hide properties. So we're going to hide the properties. We're going to go to the left-hand side under media. So the media are those items that we've recorded, that we've recorded um, by using, again, the record dialog box here. Um, if for some reason I just needed to make some new audio um, for my video, I can turn off by clicking off, so the screen is off. When I do a record now, it is just going to record an audio clip. So let's just do one really quick just so you can see. So I'm going to click record. Um, we get a 3, 2, 1 countdown. And now I'm recording 
and I'm going to go ahead and um, end that recording. And now we see that we have um, over here an actual audio um, file that we can drag and drop into our um, project at the bottom in case we needed to replace some audio. Uh, below the media option in the upper left is annotations. These are things that we can bring out into the project. Uh, so I can actually click on like an arrow, bring that arrow out into the project. Let's actually increase the size down here so you can see that. Um, so an arrow has been brought into the project and stays in there for a certain amount of time. I can adjust that, the length of time the arrow is in the project or the position of the arrow by just moving it along in the timeline. Um, I'm going to click on the arrow one time and hit the delete on the delete on the keyboard so that way the arrow goes away. Some of the other things is the bubble. I've actually used the bubble before, um, so that way I can um, bring attention to a certain area, especially web addresses. So as I'm going along in my tutorial, I might want to bring attention to the fact that this was techsmith.com. So I could bring in one of these little bubbles. Um, I'm going to rotate this around grabbing the corner and actually adjusting, adjusting the height and width and then clicking on it to move, double clicking to actually type. So I might do techsmith.com. So when we get to that point in the tutorial, if I hit the space bar or the play, we could go along and once we hit that spot, we would then get the little pop up techsmith.com and then as we go along it would go away. If that needed to be shorter we could again click on one side or the other of that and adjust the length. So I'm going to click on it once and hit the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of it. And you do have other options here. Um, you have text options, you have uh, more of a highlight so if I wanted to add a highlight over the top of a particular area of my screen I could. Um, I'm going to do an edit undo to get rid of that. Um, the next one down is transitions. Transitions are in between cuts. We haven't made any cuts in the video, so we're going to hold off on that. Um, again, animations, you can fade in, fade out. Um, there's some video um, effects here, um, some color adjustments. Um, there's quite a bit in here that you can kind of go through and look at. Um, audio, again, we can lower the um, volume on this, um, click reduction, any of those things, and then cursor, um, we can magnify the cursor, those types of things. So I'm not going to go into detail on all these, but I do want to go into detail before this video ends, is how to make some basic edits. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move my playhead over, and I'm going to go ahead and cut out a section of this video. So I'm going to go to this point in the video, and we see down here in the bottom there's a little dip in the waveform and maybe that's the spot that I wanted to uh, actually cut out. Um, so I can go to the beginning of that and maybe if I can't see it that well I can actually come down here and I can drag to zoom in. What you want to do um, if you're on a Mac keyboard is you can do a command T. We'll go ahead and put a um, splice in. If you're unsure what those commands are. You can um, go up into um, under edit and we can do a split selection at playhead. So we're actually doing a split. Uh, so again the shortcut on the keyboard is command T. If we want to add this here we would go ahead and do a split. We can now highlight that part, right click and delete. Um, if we do a ripple delete it'll actually get rid of the space I'm going to do an undo. If I just did a regular delete, that gap would be there and I would have to then move the video over until it joins. So that's the basics of creating an edit. Um, another thing that you can do is at the end of your video, you can get rid of a lot of the um, end part here to make a nice clean um, end to your video. Again, Command T, highlighting and then deleting out the last part of that video. 
Uh, what I could do at this point now is maybe I wanted a, a quick transition between these two clips. I could go up to transition. I could do a fade in, fade out. I could put a fade in on one side, a fade out on the other side. And now between those two videos, we see that we have a fade in, fade out. And then it's kind of nice at the end of a video um, just to put a simple little fade out at the end, we'll fade out the video. So those are some very basics um, to kind of getting in and looking at doing some just basic cuts in a video. Um, just looked at the fade in, fade out. We also looked at a couple of how to apply some of the annotations. Um, one of the things that kind of a tip that I would throw out there um, when you're creating video as well is when you're doing your recording, and I'll probably say this several times in videos, is making sure that um, one, you're not speaking directly into the microphone, and two, that you um, try to um, take deep breaths, pause, then speak, um, because that does help um, when you're going through an editing. You can take out your, your deep breaths at the beginning of sentences. Uh, you can also go through and um, also pause at particular points in there if you just need to collect yourself and you can always edit those sections out. Um, there will be more tips as we move along, but those are a couple for now. Um, and we will cover some additional um, parts to um, how to actually share this out to your YouTube channel in the next video.